Hi, my name is Brandon Collier from Cleveland, Ohio, junior defensive tackle. Here's a few minutes with me. Maybe you've heard the term, get your kicks on Route 66. Sounds like fun, but what you don't want is to get caught by number 56, because then what you're getting will be hits, not kicks. That's Brandon Collier, the anchor of the Minuteman defensive line and a UMass sack machine. He talks to us a bit about his full contact oh, position. A lot, of, a lot of guys bigger than me, a lot of 300 plus pounders, just like we played Texas Tech. I mean, some guy was 6'6", 350 plus pounds, just got to take on double teams, just fight hard and get to the quarterback. And that's your mission? Kill the quarterback? Yes, sir. Yes. Every day I want to I want to sack every game, so that's my goal. So I'm just trying to achieve that every game. I use a lot of techniques. Like, I mean, I've been coached up well by Coach Spencer and Coach Brown. Use a lot of spin moves, swims, and just everything to get to the get to the quarter. I mean, you got to beat the offensive lineman. Sometimes it's a back, so you might have to jump over a back and get to the quarterback. So you got to do anything to get to the quarterback. While Collier makes it his job to penetrate offensive lines and punishing quarterbacks, running backs are not discriminated against when they try to work outside of their protection. Collier at 6'1", 280 pounds. I had to ask, what do you feed a full-size sack machine? I, know, eat, uh, I like to eat. I, mean, I like to eat steaks, lobster, just the regular. I mean, the good meals, I guess. Come on over. I'm gonna cook up something <laughs> for you. What's gonna be on the table at Brandon's house? Uh, I might, I might either some salmon or some. I like swordfish. I made that the other day, so pretty good. So I like swordfish. Maybe some swordfish. Okay. Now, a little known fact about number 56 is that he could just as easily have taken his force to the hockey rink. I learned he and his brothers were a threat on the ice back in his hometown of Cleveland. <laughs> no, well, it was <laughs> it was floor hockey or the basketball floor. Not, not ice. Not the ice. Never did that. Well, that's a good thing for the hockey world. If he took on that game like he's mastered football, he'd probably be the leader for opponents sent to the trainer's office while he tried to keep his penalty minutes down. Good thing there's no penalty minutes for decking quarterbacks. That's a few minutes with junior defensive tackle Brandon Collier on the UMass Weekly Football Show with Don Brown. This is Scott Harris reporting for CBS3 Springfield. Coach, what kind of difference maker can Brandon be on that defensive line for your team? Well, he plays the uh, the inside three technique, which is the outside shoulder of the guard. So a lot of the zone schemes, he has a lot to say if they're going to be successful running the zone scheme to the tight end side. He's a very talented young man. Uh, ran 100 meters in high school. Uh, is that right? The, that was the thing that attracted me about uh -huh. him when we were recruiting him. And, uh, you know, he can run.